Hi, I'm Charlie Matlack, and I'm excited to show you what Podavita is doing to deliver safe water using data-driven feedback. The problem we're addressing is that almost 700 million people don't have access to safe water. That's a heartbreaking thing to see firsthand, as I have in places like Somalia, Kenya, and Haiti. And we're honored to be working on this problem and to already have our purifiers in hundreds of households. So there's already a lot of money being spent on this problem, over a billion dollars on household level solutions. But existing solutions like chlorine tablets are often used at rates as low as 5% when they're distributed. That's a terrible number and it's worth thinking about what that means. If an aid organization spends $20 on purifiers, $19 are simply thrown away, unused. And it's worse than that. Because there isn't good data coming back from the field, we don't really know what the usage rates are most of the time. So that means existing solutions are actually very expensive in terms of social impact per dollar spent. To fix this, we have to focus on behavior change. Our solution is the smart solar purifier. It's very easy to use. You fill the 10 liter bag with water, press the start button, and leave it in the sun until a red blinking light turns green. When you see the green light, that means we've measured enough UV exposure to know that the bacteria and viruses are dead and the water's safe to drink. When you're finished, you can hit the stop button and it's ready to go again. This is a reusable and durable product and it's cost competitive with existing solutions at a $50 price point. But on top of that, every unit records its own usage electronically, which is how we've been able to achieve and know that we've achieved over 60% correct usage rates. That's a number that turns heads at the eight organizations that we're talking to because it's the single most important driver of cost effectiveness. Let me show you how we close behavioral feedback loops using data. So when field staff visit a home, as they already have to do, they're now able to download the exact usage history of the purifier in front of them using a smartphone. This is Hector and Jean-Marc that you see up on the screen. And it's their neighbors who they're invested in teaching how to purify water for the first time in most cases. You can tell Hector is serious about hygiene because he carries the uh, antiseptic on his belt. So when they visit users, they can close the feedback loop with them by using accurate data to inform their conversations instead of self-reported usage. The data they capture on their smartphones is GPS tagged and sent to us for analysis. Then we're able to close the feedback loop with the field staff by sending them daily reports showing their own activity as well as end user behavior. We can send similar reports to their management and to the home office of their organization. The team behind Podavita is a diverse set of complementary experts. The three co-founders met in PhD programs at the University of Washington. We have some great advisors and I want to highlight Randy Strash, who joined our team after a 30 year career in water and sanitation in the NGO sector. Now, building a great product is not enough to achieve social impact. For that, we have to have a profitable business model in order to scale. Our revenue comes from sales of purifiers to aid institutions who are spending money raised from donors. We use contract manufacturers to fill bulk orders and they will drop ship our product directly to these institutions who have their own warehousing and distribution. Our purifiers have a shelf life of five years so they can be stockpiled to use in disasters. Today, we bundle our data reporting services with the purifiers, but we see opportunities to do improved and customized usage reporting in the future. We've also already been asked to develop follow-on hardware products that will capture the usage of other items in the field, like hand pump wells or improved toilets. We've had the support of a number of organizations to get where we are today with a finished product and sales. After five iterations of design improvements and field testing, we went into mass production and in May we launched a pilot test in Haiti with hundreds of households. That customer was excited with the success and decided to do a follow-on pilot in Somalia, which I just flew back from helping them launch. To date, we've received $745,000 in equity investments, we've recognized $345,000 in revenue, and this year we made thousands of purifiers. And in just one year, we'll be self-sustaining and making tens of thousands of purifiers because we're a lean organization without doing our own manufacturing or distribution. So the opportunity we have is not just to help almost 700 million people get safe water, but to bring unprecedented transparency and data-driven decision-making to the industry of global aid. We have a compellingly competitive purifier product at $50, and we have the unmatched feature of usage data capture. In addition to our first market, we see follow-on opportunities in the $7 billion market for monitoring and evaluation of global aid. Our strategy for executing on this is to do what we're good at, engineering and data analysis, and let others do the manufacturing and distribution. We have the right team to execute on this, and we've brought in an industry veteran. 
will be self-sustaining in one year, and in five years, we'll be making more than a million purifiers a year and impacting over three million people. And the SVP crowd can help us get there by connecting us to additional foundations who want to support innovation like this. Thank you, and please come talk to me if you'd like to be part of our data-driven approach to safe water.